Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. How are you all? Welcome to your science class. I'm your science teacher, Ms. Samia. How are you all? I hope you all are fine. So in the last week, you have your assessment. So we have read the unit number nine, heat. So now we will start. We will continue our unit. And today we will going to do question answers of unit number nine, heat on our notebook. So students kindly open your notebooks. Write down today's date, 1st February 2021. Classwork. Today's day is Monday. Write down unit number nine, heat. Underline the topic. And student, don't forget to draw the margin line. Draw the margin line with your ruler. Question number one, answer these questions. Question A, what is heat? So when you heard about the word heat, what do you think about? What the heat is? Heat is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy. When you are feeling cold, when you sit in front of the heater, your body will get warm and you feel energy. Right? So heat is a form of energy. We also get the heat from the sun and it give us energy so what is the heat heat is a form of energy question b where does heat energy comes from as i have given the examples before so all of you know that what are the sources of heat so where does the heat energy come from we will write the answer. Heat energy comes from the sun and from burning things. As a sun is the natural source of heat energy and the other burning things like if you will burn the wood, if you will burn the paper, if you will burn the coal, you will get the heat energy. So heat energy comes from the sun and from burning things. Question C. Why do animals have hair or thick fur on its body? Have you ever imagined why the animal have thick hair? Have you ever seen some animal wearing the sweaters in the winter? No. Because they have their hairs on their body. They have thick fur on their body. So, we will write, animals have hairs on or thick fur on their bodies to keep them warm because of their hair and because of their thick fur their body will be warm they keep themselves warm so animals have hair or thick fur on their bodies to keep warm question C Question D. What are good conductors of heat? So everybody know what is the meaning of good conductor. When the heat can pass, they are called the good conductor, conductors. So what are the good conductors of heat? Metal through which can heat can pass easily are called good conductors of heat. For example, cooking pots. There are so many examples you can write. Like cooking pot is made of metal. When we put it on the stove, it get heated and then we can cook our food. Because through all the metals, the heat can pass easily. So all kind of metals are the good conductors of heat. Question E. What are solids through which heat cannot pass called? 
so what we call them from which the heat cannot pass the answer is solid through which heat cannot pass are called poor conductor of heat for example rubber so like the wood rubber plastic they are the examples of poor conductor because heat cannot pass through them easily and not fast as compared to the metals so if the heat can pass it is it they will be a good conductor if heat cannot pass they are the poor conductor so we will write the answer solids through which heat cannot pass are called poor conductors of heat for example rubber you can write any example you want to and kindly write all these question answers in your notebook inshallah i will see you in the next class okay student take care allah hafiz